friends. So today we are being busy, busy, busy. Sorry, Elaine has been watching a lot of Frosty and the magician. I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. That's you know his his three times. Messy, messy, messy. You're busy, busy, busy. Uh, can we leave tomorrow? I'm not sure if this video is going to go up tonight or tomorrow. I'll see what day brings with it. I'm gonna go mow the lawn so I don't leave the house looking like a total mess in front. So it's gonna at least look nice in front while we're gone. And then I gotta put air in the tires. I gotta finish packing. I feel like there's one other thing that I was supposed to do. Here comes Elaine. Say hi. Hi. Where are we about to do? That's right, we're about to mow the lawn. I just happen to have my father mow this best uh, mug out for breakfast. So, we will see what else Rick today brings, and we'll bring you guys with us. I got nothing. I got nothing. While I was outside mowing the lawn, Elaine stopped me and informed me that she is running away and she has found a new, better home than ours. Then she proceeded to run to the end of the sidewalk, where I had to stop her, because she might have actually gone further, and call her back, and she told me yet again, she was running away. I don't know where she even got the idea of running away from, but, oh, well, maybe, uh, actually, Rudolph, because both Rudolph and uh, Hermes run away. I'll have to ask her. So we Skyped a little with Sarah's best friend and we opened up the gift she sent us. Where she sent Elaine a uh, My Little Pony Play-Doh plaything. I got a lot of curry paste, which is going to be amazing. We're actually going to have some tonight. Here's Elaine's yeah. Ariel. You got the, the fin, the tail, arms, head, hair. You did very good with that. You did very good. I'm very proud of you for that. We got eyebrows. Oh, and you got eyebrows in there too? You're so detailed in everything you did. Oh, you're just amazing. You know that? 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 Hi. So Elaine got where she opened this 132-ish. Let's say closer to 1.30. It is 5 o'clock now. She's been playing with it nonstop for three and a half hours. Three and a half. I think we, we, we started Skyping around like 12.30. No. So apparently it was even earlier than 1.30. So it was closer to 12.30. And she's been playing with us nonstop. So I think the Pony Play-Doh was a big success and a big hit, right? You like this? You like Korean stuff? Mm -hmm. You having fun? Yeah. I love you. I love you more. <gasps> okay. Let me say something about my family. They have an incredible gift of having something and then having it vanish entirely. Like, it no longer exists. It ceases to be. Currently, Elaine's little princess ball that she got yesterday was thrown, she claims, into her playroom. But there is no ball in here. I don't really see it kind of anywhere else that she, it might have rolled to from where she was throwing. So, it has vanished. And I'm not entirely sure where it got to. So I'm going to show you guys, uh, I just put Elaine to bed, what the, the movie that we watched beforehand. Which it reminded me a lot of Miyazaki. And it's uh, the magic snowflake. Like half the, the drawing is like a lot of Miyazaki films, and it it just it very much resembles. I I don't think it really is that, but it definitely reminded me. It was a very good movie. I highly recommend it. With that being said, it is uh, it's on Netflix, and it looks like there's a, a second uh, Santa's Apprentice. So maybe this one came first, and then the magic snowflake. Either way, this is all on Netflix. Uh, we found it in the kids section under Lane's profile, so I 100% recommend it. If uh, you have a, a moment looking for something new that's kind of fa 
family appropriate. Uh, these are they're good movies. That being said, I don't think I have anything else for you guys tonight. We're going to finish doing our final packings. I'm going to shower. And uh, we're probably all going to go to bed because we have to be up very early. Like, as early as, early as I sometimes get home, which is going to throw me completely out of whack. So, we will see you tomorrow. I will do my best to try to get one up tomorrow. It'll probably be late because of everything else that's going on, so I won't have an opportunity to edit at all until the end of the day. So, expect something late. Uh, with that being said, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever time you're watching this. Thank you, and we will see you again.